Hello, I'm Claire Smith and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to try some more perfumes that I wouldn't normally get to try and that's because Annie Sense has sent me some more samples. So Annie Sense has sent me some Queer Nomad samples from Memo Paris. So Memo Paris have a line of perfumes that are all based around the note of leather and they started bringing these out in around 2013 I think and there's been releases pretty much every year up to 2021. And I have five different perfumes from the line and altogether there have been nine perfumes. So I can probably review about half the line for you. I'd say out of these, I've tried them probably two or three times each. So again, not super reliable, but you know, a, a good first impressions perhaps. I'm also going to rank these perfumes at the end of this video and tell you my thoughts on, on them. So I feel like each of them has a bit of a different personality, which would be to be expected. And yeah, I've definitely got a preference of which one that I favour over the rest. So that's kind of interesting. So the first fragrance I've tried is Irish Leather. And this one came out in the original release in 2013. This fragrance opens with a very bright juniper note. It's almost citrusy. It's so striking, the, the really zinginess of the juniper. It smells almost like a gin. And... Then as it dries, it becomes more green and herbal. It, and it's not like a, a fresh herb. It's definitely something that's more, more towards sort of something like you would have in a bath, something very aromatic. It's also quite powdery, but in a, like an oris way rather than iris way. And it definitely has that leather-like feeling, but it's definitely used leather. It's something like a, a saddle or something that's been oiled. It's that kind of leather. I also get a feeling of wax jackets and people in flat caps from this. It's got that farming edge to it, which is probably why I like it. It also makes me think of cigars. There's definitely like a honeyed tobacco, sweet tobacco feeling to this. It's a really nice fragrance. Um, I think for me, it's more of a curiosity rather than something that I would end up wearing. But I do really like it and I would like to smell this on somebody else for sure. This fragrance definitely lasted on me the whole day and it did seem to have good projection. I could get whiffs of it throughout the day. So that one was Irish leather. So the next one I tried was Italian leather and this came out in the original release along with Irish leather. This one is a lot sweeter than Irish leather and definitely less leathery. This one made me think of, of vanilla and tobacco, but it's also a little bit green and a bit spicy to begin with. There's something at the back of this fragrance that is just like really sweet and, and and sort of sticky almost. Does it make me think of Italy? I, I'm not sure it does. Um, it makes me think of like, you know, like the, um, when they burn incense in churches. It does make me think of that a little bit, but I more think of like vineyards. I think that that's what strikes me. I think that sort of like green vine leaf kind of smell is definitely in this fragrance. Also, I'd say the leather here is much lighter. So it makes me think of like soft brown leather rather than anything else. It, it's something that is light on leather, but they're definitely those sort of vanillic touches and the, the tobacco-iness, really the things that come through to me. It's just got that feeling about it of sort of something a little bit resinous, I suppose. Um, I think out of these fragrances, this is the one that attracted me the most. This is the one that I thought if I was going to buy one, I, I would probably choose this one. I think this was definitely my favourite, even though I struggle to describe this one. I don't I don't really know what it is about it. I think probably it's the vanilla and the sweetness and the tobacco feeling to it and the, the resins, really. It's got a really nice warm feeling. It does make you think of sort of, you know, sunshine and summer and, and being outside. But yeah, definitely my favourite, Italian leather. So the next one I tried was French leather, and this one came out in 2014. I'd say that this is definitely one of the lighter ones on the leather, probably tying with another one. But there definitely was like a suede feel to this fragrance later on. Initially, it's quite um, fresh again with juniper. And there's also a little bit of a light woodiness with some vetiver. I also do get a little bit of a fresh lime, but it's very, very fleeting. It's gone quite quickly. Really, the core of this fragrance is like a peppery rose, and that's kind of me all over, really, what it was a couple of years ago. I really love peppery roses. It's a really fresh rose as well. This one has a, a suede note, so it reminds me of a suede handbag, a, a pink suede handbag that I had in the early 2000s. This fragrance smells very much like that handbag, especially when I've been out and I've been carrying my friend's cigarettes in it. This is definitely like a very delicate, romantic kind of fragrance it's it's not like an 
a deep red rose this is this is something that's more that's more like a light pink one it's it's a very sort of coy and understated fragrance i would say this one um compared with the others this is not feeling as strong it definitely doesn't last as long definitely after three hours the rose is, is kind of faded and you're just left with a very soft suede on your skin it's not something that projects that much after a couple of hours i did smell it for the first couple of hours but by that time it had really gone um i like this fragrance i would wear this one i i do like smelling it on me so that's french leather the next fragrance I tried was African Leather and this came out in 2015 and I would say out of all of these this was the one that I was most excited to smell when I just sort of smelt out the vials. This was the one that really attracted my attention. It has it has cardamom, it has saffron, it has cumin, it's just a little bit spicy and that sort of attracted me basically. So this fragrance made me think of a time when I went to an Abyssinian restaurant. Actually we have an Abyssinian restaurant that's like less than a mile from our house and I love it. I, I love that kind of food it's just so interesting and different to everything else that I've tried and I love trying new things so that that place is for me but anyway going back to this fragrance um this has a really spicy edge to it it's a really like warm fragrance it really makes you think of warm places so the main thing I get from this fragrance initially is a, is a soapy cardamom basically I also get a really sort of sweet saffron note and there's also a background dusty cumin but I'd say the cumin is not like a scary cumin where it can smell a bit sweaty sometimes. It's definitely not like that. It's it's more of a dusty cumin. This is very distinctive and very warm. It's it's spicy. It's a bit earthy. It makes me think of like dusty red earth and fire and, and spices, basically. The leather is there, but it's really background to the spices. I think if you don't like spicy fragrances, you're not going to enjoy this. I think this is on the on the cusp of stuff that I enjoy. I think because it's almost clovey at points there is meant to be oud in this fragrance and there's i i describe it more of a as a patchouli it's something that is it doesn't smell that oudy to me but if if they say it's in there then apparently it's in there but definitely more of a patchouli feeling to me it's definitely more earthy i i like this one i think this is interesting i can't, i think it's perfectly unisex as well i don't i don't think this this makes me think of something manly or anything. I think I think it's quite, it's just really warm and spicy. It makes me think of Christmas basically, but without cinnamon. It's not like a happy sweet spice. It's like a, a really spicy spice. I think this one has really good longevity and also quite good projection. It's definitely something that could bother you if you are prone to getting headaches, I think. I think this one definitely could trigger a headache. But yeah, it just makes me think of food, basically. So that's um, African leather. So the final one I've tried is ocean leather. And this came out in 2020. So this is the second most recent release. I think the most recent release is Sicilian leather. So this one, I was expecting sort of something marine or salty or something that was really sea-like, basically. And I didn't really get it. So this one is quite citrusy in the beginning. It's quite a green citrus opening. I'd say it's really, really light on the leather and it's also quite floral. It's surprisingly floral for an ocean fragrance. This fragrance is quite weird and quite hard to describe. It's quite airy and it's also quite fresh, but it's also woody. And I think that's probably the cedar in this. It, it sort of smells quite citrusy for quite a long time. When it finally dries down, it smells like just a generic kind of blue shower gel, basically. I wouldn't say it was salty. I wouldn't say it was was of the sea. It's just like a, a mineral feeling to it. This one just didn't excite me. I didn't really get any kind of leather feeling from this. It's, it didn't really fit in with the rest of the line. I felt like this one was a departure compared with the other fragrances. And I feel like I've smelt this kind of thing before in other fragrances. I haven't smelt many men's fragrances, but I feel like this fragrance reminds me of a fragrance that I've already smelt in some kind of men's line. I'm not sure which one, but it's definitely something that is reminiscent of something that I've previously smelt. It just doesn't really excite me, this one. It's 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 like my probably my least favourite out of the bunch. So that's um, Ocean Leather. So I'm going to rank the fragrances now from my sort of least favourite to my most favourite. I would say only one of these did I really actively not like and that was ocean leather um it's not really offensive it's just a bit boring I think is how I feel about it 
So that would definitely be in place number five. So I think places four and three for me are tied. And I think I would put Irish leather and African leather in those positions because I just can't imagine myself wearing either of those fragrances. And I think that I would love to smell them on other people. So I think on other people, I would really love to smell Irish leather. But I think probably for me, I would probably prefer African leather. I think number two for me would probably be French leather, just because it's so delicate. And I really love rose. So that one is, is just beautiful. I think the top one for me is Italian leather, just because of all those resins and that kind of vanilla feel and the, the, the sweetness and the tobaccoiness. It just appeals to me. So... Yeah, my top one would be Italian leather. So please let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances and what you think of them and also which you think would be your favourite if you haven't tried these. Please also let me know what you think of the price point of these fragrances. I think they're pretty expensive. I think they, they retail from about 130 to about £200 a bottle. So I can't see myself buying any, but I've enjoyed trying them. And also please press the like button if you've enjoyed this video and consider subscribing if you haven't done already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.